day 20 of the 30-day MREA. And today we're reading pages 228 to 239, and we're looking at listings and leverage. Now, in this, my takeaways have around these areas. You must know the number of seller listings you must list each month. That clarity of what you are aiming for. How many listing uh, do I need to take each and every month to achieve my goals? And you have to be aware of the market so that you can adjust to what the market is doing. How is it shifting? What is the balance of that market? A big part of your time is understanding exactly what's going on so that you can adjust and work within that environment. No market will ever remain exactly the same. It shifts, it moves, and it goes from buyers to sellers to sellers to buyers. And you have to be aware of that because your strategies will change. And what this means is you've got to stay on top of your key conversion ratios so that you can take the appropriate actions to achieve your goals. If you don't know those conversion ratios, you don't know how many people you need to dial to talk to, you talk to to get appointments, appointments to convert into agreements and agreements to turn into contracts. Once you know that, you know exactly what activities you must do on a weekend, weekend basis, uh, weekday basis, to accomplish your goals. It's no longer a hope so business, it's a no so business. So you, the MREA commits to hitting their minimum numbers every month. And a commitment is saying not, boy, I, I, I hope that I can do it, but I will do it. I will do whatever it takes. And oftentimes I, I ask people when they know exactly how many appointments they need to go on, I start off with the question of, do you know the scientific answer to achieving this number. And they look at me and they scratch their head and I always come back and say, as many as it takes. Now, as you start off, it's as many as it takes. And then as you track, you then know it takes me exactly this much to hit my numbers. Now, let this be the focus of your entire team, that we're hitting our numbers every month. Everybody has a clear understanding of how many team appointments must be accomplished each and every month, and everybody's pushing to that. This has to be your major preoccupation. I mean, you have to hit your numbers because it's a mathematical certainty. If you hit your numbers, you will hit your goals. So learn how to communicate the team approach. Together, everyone achieves more, or many hands make light work. Break that down. And, and here's another thing that I find interesting, is when you know the individual team members' goals and the numbers that they need, and then you bring it together, you see a team number. And so many times, if everyone's hitting their individual team, individual numbers, those combined usually are far more than what the team needs to hit the team goals. So why not blow it out the top? Why not go beyond that? So in this section, he also talks about consistently marketing your seller listings for more leads. Make sure that you're not living, leaving sales on the table, neglecting buyer leads that will come from your listings because a healthy marketed listing should produce another buyer. And so you have a 50-50 business of listings to buyers because you're marketing your listings. Leverage. In the leverage section, you're always recruiting, training, consulting, and keeping top talent. And just keep in mind that process. It's recruit, train, consult, and keep. And you want to avoid the turnover turmoil. If you're always staying in that train, consult, keep, and you're recruiting for talent, you will ultimately get to a place where you don't have the turmoil of constant turnover. And one of the ways to do that is to begin thinking of hiring talent that is not cul-de-sac talent, but plus talent. Cul-de-sac talent means I can do my job, but I can't go any further. Plus talent is I can do my job and I can go beyond that and do so much more. So always hiring top talent that's plus talent, not just cul-de-sac top talent. So those are my takeaways from these pages. What are yours? You know the drill. Comment below. Together, one, together we're going to learn and grow with each other. Now, 
we have five more days of the MREA, and then we will follow those five days with five interviews with agents who have utilized at a high level the MREA. So let's stay the course, let's keep moving, and don't just try to get through this book. Look at what you can get from this book because I want you to be a millionaire real estate agent. I'll see you tomorrow.